Stefan, let's start off here uh, with the potential rollout here. I guess this is the announced rollout uh, of the anniversary edition of the Countach here. Uh, we're not talking about the sports car of old. This is an updated version uh, for a much different customer in a much different era. No, it's a modern interpretation of the Countach, which was first presented 50 years ago. Uh, we are doing it because the Countach was a game changer uh, for uh, Lamborghini at the time and still has the elements which are in our modern super sports car. So the positioning of the engine, which is uh, longitudinal in the back, the design, there are two lines which are very defining uh, Lamborghini and also the scissor doors for the V12 and the move uh, of the cabin pretty forward, so like a modern super sports car. So the Countach in the early 70s was defining a new era, not only for the Lamborghini brand, but for all the super sports car business around. And this yeah. is the reason why for the 50th anniversary, we are doing a limited edition, a few off of a complete new car, which we call Countach as well. I, I got you. And of course, for a lot of people, even though, yes, it was the most iconic, one of the most iconic brands back in the 70s, it still is for a lot of folks out there who are looking uh, to get their hands on one of the couple thousands that are still rolling around out there. I am curious here about the pivot uh, to hybrid and electric vehicles and how you position a sports car brand like Lamborghini, which is really based on power and move that to an era where maybe you have a technology platform that doesn't necessarily meet those former expectations. So we announced uh, a couple of months ago that we will hybridize all of our lineup between 23 and 24. Uh, we will have plug-in uh, hybrids coming up first in 23, one car, so the follow of the Aventador or V12 engine, where we will have a brand new V12, a complete new design, all is new, and then in 24, we will also update the Huracan, that will be a full, a full hybridized, and also our Urus, our SUV. So yes. we are facing this with the additional performance, so mm -hmm. every generation has to be more performing than the generation before, even though we will reduce from 2025 mm -hmm. our CO2 emissions by 50%. Back in June, you said that you basically almost sold out for the year. What's the general status right now of your order book? And are you dealing with any uh, significant material supply chain issues, specifically with regards to the semiconductor shortage? So first of all, the semiconductor shortage is not affecting Lamborghini, luckily. We are very happy about that. And our order bank, so uh, the customer order bank we have is lasting for 10 months. So we, we are right into the year 2022, around May uh, is lasting our order bank, and it's still growing. So we are having a, a wonderful run. Stefan, Matt Miller here in Berlin. Are you sold out of this new Countach already? I know you're just unveiling it. It's only been unveiled for two and a half hours, but I'm sure that a lot of people knew and have already called in orders. So we did a pre-selling activity. Uh, we are doing only 112 of this uh, uh, beautiful car because this was the, the code name of the old the Countach was called 112 and they're all sold out. So we did uh, uh, activities before presenting the car here all around the world and uh, all the 112 are already gone and we are going to produce them next year and also deliver them in 2022. So that's a quick three. 100 million in revenue. I wonder about the hybrid system. It's not the type that people normally think about, you know, with the Prius. What you've got is a supercapacitor um, behind the driver's seat that provides a quick 34 horsepower and also charges up um, at the snap of a finger with, with brakes. Is this going to allow you to bring the V12 engine um, forward and continue to produce those naturally aspirated power plants for the next decade? So uh, in 2023, we will launch the follow of the Aventador with a complete new V12 engine. And this will be uh, a plug-in engine, but it will not be a, with a supercapacitor. It will be uh, with, a, with a, a different type of battery. So we are maintaining uh, the V12 engine, or we're having a new one, and we will add uh, the battery pack, and this will uh, give even more power to the car than the, today's Aventador. You know, the, the clutch is one of the most interesting features in a Lamborghini. 
I've driven a lot of Aventadors, and it's um, just a single clutch, very, um, very punchy, um, is, a, is a polite way to say it. Interesting because Ferrucci Lamborghini originally started the car uh, company after a fight with uh, Enzo Ferrari about his old clutches. Does this have a dual clutch? The new one will have a, a dual clutch. Yes. There will be dual clutch all over from 23 onwards, also for the plug-in hybrid engines. You have obviously incredible margins. Um, I think Volkswagen recently said in Investor Day um, that your margins match those of Ferrari. You'll have your own Investor Day for the first time in years at Lamborghini. Does that mean we could see Lamborghini moving a little bit more towards independence from the group? No, we are pretty happy inside the group, and there is no plans uh, to have more independency at time being, uh, because this is working very well. Also, with all the, the platforms we have in the, in the group, and the synergies are very positive, and uh, we want to maintain it like this. When you get to that investor day, day Stefan, there's going to be a lot of questions, though, about that future here, and more importantly, also about the sustainability of profitability here. I mean, what are you prepared to tell investors? What are you prepared to guide them towards? First of all, we have a clear path to the future. We are in a very good shape. The, the brand uh, is uh, seen as a, a very high-value brand. We have... Uh, um, a hybridization coming up, so a reduction of the CO2 emissions by maintaining performance and design at the utmost level. So this is a good, uh, good show for us, and uh, our ROS and our um, margins uh, are very positive. And uh, we are not running for peaks in our business. We are, we are running for a steady growth uh, over the next years.